instance, um, so, uh, skills development manager whatsoever. Um, hindi lang po sila skills ang kinadevelop mo. I think there is this spiritual aspect kung kung baka motivation. Um, which is this, this idea I got from Ms. Cindy Berlin ng COA Training Development Edition. So, yun nga, um, I think if you talk to them more often and share your stories, share, share to the princess, ha? From being a freshie na, ay, misa, ay, kung participant na ako, ano lang punta dito sa position ng MP? Para mag-gets nila, parang, ah, so ganun pala yun. Yung, if you share it to them that way, too, they could also relate more of, more with you. Ah, oh yeah, I was like that when I was a ako. Parang, ah, so parang yung, speed, speed. Um, yeah, I guess it sounds informal, but honestly, hindi lang po lahat ng bagay kailang informalize it. Sometimes kailang simple lang. Thank you. So, in your platform, uh, you did not indicate specific plans for, for projects and information. The rest you've mentioned it, but only shallow for the others. So, what are your plans for these two clusters, except for the apprentice, apprenticeship system for... Actually, um, you know, that for the shares that happening now, it's kind of outdated. Because I have a uh, sort of thing of like edited it. Because yun nga, naniniwala ako, hindi tayo kasapak sa isang bagay lang. We should continue to prove it. So anyway, mga may tinagdag po ako kasi na-realize ko nga po na may pagpapukulang po ako. Hindi ako masyadang focus sa mga certain clusters that I have admit projects in e-services. With e-services, having having attended the COAYES um, reporting uh, a few days ago, I think that was Monday, uh, it made me realize na yung core competency natin, which is actually um, primarily, well, pri primarily, uh, primarily, um, delivered or something on e-services is uh um, should be given more focus. So with e-services I think that we should try to um with e-services and externals we should try to work with external entities and find um create partnerships wherein our members could apply their their IMIS skills, you want SAT skills nila, um and um and these skills and possibly PM skills, IT consultants consulting because um it doesn't necessarily have to be a uh, service that we're in to generate profit. Because when you have generate profit, you need to have a good quality service. Mo. So perhaps we could work with NGOs who badly need help, actually. And that way, you can have a good skills. Na. And if you're worried that your members aren't ready yet for the uh, second year, or third year, you know, you already know the STD, how could I actually create that kind of deliver that kind of service? Then you could work partner with um, from a senior developer or a senior SE. And work, how we do to work with him, be an apprentice, and for instance, ang sabi ni Sir Paolo is para let him develop some small, uh, a small component, small code, part ng system niya, para unti-unti, naiintindihan niya, paano ba mag-SED, mag paano ba magbigay ng IT, mag magbigay ng, ad, ng IT uh, advice. Yun po. Alright. Uh, I want to know in one short, concise, and concrete sentence what your vision for MISA is. And then, to follow that up, um, who is who do you want? Para who do you want in your ED for this mission to be made? Sorry, what, what, last part. Who do you want in your ED for next year? Ah, ED for next year. Okay. Um, my my mission for next year is um to have uh to form a community to form a community of information management professionals who um wait, look at can I can I give can I give you a few minutes? The proper phrase is special, concise phrase. Um, basically, ang na envision ko next year is, ang gusto ko sana mangyari, or at least build the steps to lead to that is that um to create a stronger, not necessarily super strong, I mean stronger than this year, stronger community of of students using information management as tool to better their organization and their external the external community. So um doesn't necessarily have to be like super big na okay patient okay. So your for my EV uh I want oh my god wait, wait. for my EV okay let's start with these services uh I choose JR over Epstein. I also would choose wait what is I choose um wait Uh, 
um, for information, Grace will round stay. For projects, Mark Levayo. For internals, Danette Young. I hope she can just do with it. And um, for externals, so there's no one running for it. Who's in it? I was thinking, what did you see? Si Richard, if ever lang, na kung may naman alam ko, well, why not you see? You see? For my question, um, ito, kutay ko sa platform. To eliminate the constant dependence for TNT from other organizations. Or you, you also say to your platform that you want to collaborate with other entities and create partnership with applicable. And given na sa platform mo na halagay, four out of five of your indicated external entities are involved in leadership and training. So, ano ba talaga? Okay, say ma'am, explain to me. Sorry kung naging magulo. But by that, I mean na, first, you need to collaborate with these entities to eventually be able to eliminate your constant dependency on them. Kasi of course, hindi mo kaya eliminate lang yan this year because for one, hindi pa nga strong yung department natin dyan eh. So first, collaborate with them, learn from them as to how to mag-develop ng members and then when you know na how to make it a few years from now, you can stop relying on them.